Hi everyone. So it's very important in the art world to have a red dot um, on your on your sole paintings. So um, this is very common if you go to an art show or an exhibit. You often see the red dot here and it indicates that the painting was sold. In this video I'm going to show you how to do that um, with the WordPress website. Um, I'm going to show you two examples. One website that uses the Astra theme and one website that uses Ocean WP theme. And we can achieve this not through the theme or Elementor or a uh, website builder, but we can achieve it through a plugin and adding some custom code. So, so I'll show you exactly how to do that. So this is the Astra website. This is for a personal website that I that I have. And um, by default, there's an Oda stock button here with Astra. And I added the red dot um, as an addition to the Oda stock badge through a plugin. I'll show you the plugin. It's called the Sold Out Badge for WooCommerce by Charlie Etienne. Um, it doesn't really have a lot of reviews. It, only 200 people installed it, but it was really helpful. It did the job and the developer was very responsive. So I would say it's a good plugin. Uh, has only one review. That's actually my review. <laughs> so if you end up using this plugin, it helps you. Uh, give the developer uh, a good review, and I'll show you how to I'll show you how to add uh, the plugin. So on your dashboard, you're going to go to plugins, add new, and from here we're going to just search sold out badge. And here it is. So it's a sold out badge here and you install it and then you're going to want to activate your it once you've installed it. So from here we can find the badge through settings and then sold out badge for WooCommerce. From here it's going to ask you what label you want to put sold out, sold out of stock, but for the circle with the red dot we're just going to leave it blank. Change the color to red and the text color doesn't matter, we don't have any text, and that's it. You just click Save Changes. Now, from here, it doesn't appear as a circle without code, so I'm going to go to my Customizer, and I'm going to add some extra CSS to the, the badge. Down here, we click Additional CSS, and uh, the class for the CSS is called w.wcsob underscore sold out. And we can find uh, how to edit the badge through the R inspector tool. We just scroll down and hover over. And this is the, the span class that they, they, that they named it here. And you can also just edit it here down in your CSS. And then once you like it, you just add the code in here. But um, I'll show you what changes you can make. You can make it bigger, smaller, and uh, this is what it looks like without any code. So it looks like a rectangle. And the border radius, I changed it to make it a circle. Like that. So I'm pretty happy with that, and go publish. And um, there, it's done. And um, I, I kind of like having the Otis Stock badge there as well. Um, so I'm gonna keep those. And that's how you do it with Astra, pretty simple. Now for Ocean WP, I had more of a, more of a challenge. Um, I added the plugin. I tried to add CSS to the badge. It didn't really work, but um, eventually got it to work by adding both the plugin and adding additional CSS to the Ocean WP existing Oda Stock badge. And I'm going to show share you the code for that. Um, 
So this is what it looks like here. And we've removed the, the Otostock badge gets removed completely, but I'm, I like that. Um, that's what I want. So I'm not going to um, have any issues with that. And um, so again, with this one, we added the plugin, the same one. Um, and I, I added the exactly same code. So here we are in the customizer, and um, this is from the plugin. It's basically the exact same code from the Astro website, except the, I made it a little bit bigger, the, the size of the circle. Then on top of it, I added some more code to, uh, to the WooCommerce uh, Ocean WP badge, because it didn't work. I'll show you what it looks like without. So that's what it looks like without adding the, the additional code. And you can find this CSS class same way as I did before. We inspect um, and we hover over the we hover over the badge here, just like we did in our the, the Astro website, and you inspect it to find what the CSS class or ID is. I'm just going to go put it back. And uh, what was really important here, what well, additional code I had to add was to remove the, the text here because it's running on the side out of stock. I didn't like that. So I just changed the, the text to be transparent and that solved the, the, the problem. So that's basically it. Um, I think adding a red dot to any kind of art for sale website really can enhance your website and just give it a certain finesse to it, um, can really elevate your products for your customers. Um, so I hope this video is helpful for anyone else that sells art online. Feel free to share, um, share with any of your friends who have a um, sale, sale on their websites for art and be sure to subscribe and like the video. And feel free to reach out if you have any issues with your Otis stock badge.